I hope you remembered. She can't show her hands so hot and sexy. I think that is the way that parents need to see this, knowing that there's all of this underneath. And I'm, I'm genuinely asking that, who is this? Big apology this morning, because I normally write down whatever I, I think my intro might be, if I can think of one beforehand, like the stupid bit. This is what I wrote down on the way to the gym. So I wasn't looking while I was texting on my phone. Not, not driving. Good morning, my quintessential Bonoffa teacher inspired Fruit Loop. Either I was high or I was wasted about an hour ago. I, I, I caught myself in the mirror as I took my shirt off this morning and I was like, that's a good looking pair of shoulders. I think you could liken those to hmm, a hanger, one of those Walmart plastic hangers. Just the frame of an absolute machine. And by the type of machine I'm talking about, it's just one of the ones that just flattens things. All right, I hope you remembered. Uh, just the driving section this morning. Parents are still here, chilling out, having fun. It's nice. But I had a couple of things that I thought about, that I was thinking about to have a quick discussion about, it, darling. One of them was I was watching the Casey Neistat and Diary of a CEO interview the other day. And one of the segments he talks about how his kids are on social media. And I guess they're not really. And he has a couple of rules. Like one of them likes to create stop motion on YouTube, I think he was saying. But there are some rules. She can't show her hands, can't show anything in her apartment that gives away her location uh, and no information about her. Which I think to the normal person sounds like, sounds very, very drastic, doesn't it? Sounds very cagey. But you imagine being someone like Casey who is, you know, huge, gets spotted everywhere. You don't want your kids, he's obviously seen how tough that side of life is and he explains that in the interview but he's realized that he doesn't want to bring his children into that doesn't want to force his children into that which i think is very admirable as a parent i think that is the way that parents need to see this i realize that there's if you're going to be this let's say social media personality or something that someone you're an online personality of such I think you really do need to consider what your kids are going to get out of this, even if they don't want it. Next thing was, uh, I, here's where this started. I was watching a clip yesterday morning before everyone else woke up and it was a guy talking about how, I don't know, how Sam Sullock is a genius. So if you haven't heard of him, massive bodybuilder, he's like 22 years old or something, huge and trains like an absolute monster. Seems like a very decent guy as you watch his videos. But it's very clear he's on some type of, I don't even know the difference between Tren and steroids. He seems like a great guy, right? So I'm talking purely from surface level. Right, so the first part of where I was going with that is he he's the shock factor in the thumbnail. That's why people are clicking on the videos to figure out who this guy is. Because you look at the guy in the thumbnail and you're like, oh my gosh, this guy is a monster. Who is this? And so you shouldn't have merged lanes before I finished the indicator or looked. Um, all right, so he's the shock factor. He is the thumbnail. And then you get a chance to see his raw personality and authenticity and all that kind of lovely good stuff. But I can't get this idea out of my head that so many people are inspired by a guy. Again, I don't know much about the fitness industry, but is he's pretty much killing himself, right? That's, that's 
that's what happens when you're on steroids and trend in the quantities he must be on. I think he's a great role model in so many senses for so many people. But underneath all of that, you, you have this very... He doesn't talk about it in the videos, which I think is very good, very uh, mature. But it's still underneath everything, isn't it? That's still the reason why he's so interesting, so captivating. It's because you just have someone doing something that seems impossible for the majority of people. Now, the, I think the concern that I would have, not that I'm anything or anyone to have any kind of impression here, is that not a terrible thing for an audience, for, y for young, impressionable people? And I'm, I'm genuinely asking that because I would say that's a terrible thing for people to be watching and consuming, knowing that there's all of this underneath. That's my opinion. The majority of people may think differently. Someone else could, could change my mind on that if like, I understood more about it. But perhaps we're also getting to a time where people, are, the viewer is starting to see that actually what you see online as raw and authentic as it may be that's still only part of a whole person right so you, so people may be able to start seeing and understanding that when you watch someone online there's still this level underneath that you don't know about and you're able to uh the, the viewer is able to split out from one another so people would be able to see I can see he's taking trend and steroids. I know that's bad. I'm not going to do that. But I do love the other aspects to this guy. And that the other aspects of this guy inspire me. That would be ideal. But I don't know if, as viewers, we're at that place yet. Because right? we're still learning how to consume media, social media, in the right way. We don't know how to do it. It seems like a weird thought. And then it got me thinking, I, I, in this guy's video, he highlighted three people. Sam, this witch looking, not witch looking type of lady, I think her, <laughs> her username is witch something, I think, something witch. And then some other dude, so, so she is, From the few screenshots I've seen, it looks like she has a lot of work done. I may be wrong on that. Like, it's a quick screenshot. Uh, <laughs> but I would say from a quick snap, female, skinny, attractive, I can see why people may want to click on it. And she just, she just talks, I think, in front of the camera. I've never watched one of her videos, actually. I don't know. And then the final guy is this older... A uh, guy who sits like on his ranch, smoking a cigar, and just talks to the camera. So each of those three look very unique. And they are the uh, attention grabbers in the thumbnail. Whereas me, I'm a, I feel like I'm a pretty normal looking dude. There's nothing too special about me in that sense. I'm not flipping massive. I'm not wise smoking a cigar with a beard and a lovely straw hat and I'm not I'm not female right well as far as I'm aware <sighs> wife might be in for a surprise one day <laughs> that doesn't make any sense does it no nope. already got two kids together so I'm pretty sure she knows what she's got I'm pretty sure I know what I've got sometimes I question it but I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I think so I think I know what I've got That's annoying. So how do I make, how do I make myself stand out in thumbnails? What am I going to do to make myself stand out in thumbnails without editing thumbnails? What do I need to do? Part of me just wants to use like 
some of the hideous faces I use so that when you see a guy with a hideous face, you're like, oh, we know that guy. That's Oliver. That's, that's his normal face. And I'm not talking like making hideous faces just for the thumbnail. I'm talking about just the expressions I use throughout the video. That one. How about that one? That was a, a fake. Well, I might just use that as a thumbnail anyway. <laughs> wow, Oliver! Uh, okay, other topic. I don't know if you have any thoughts on how I make myself look. I don't know, freaking badass. For a thumbnail, let me know. LMK, bro. All right, I think, well, final topic for the morning, maybe. We know I ramble. I know I ramble. <laughs> I was having a chat with my barber the other day, and I just, like, briefly brought up this style of video. And she was saying, like, she quite likes the idea of just watching, like, having this kind of video on in the background, but she doesn't she has questions in her mind about why someone would do it. Like, why would you want to share all this information? Why would you want to put it out there? And it, it, that's actually only just hit me in this second. It's not about, it's not about putting it out there because you want someone to say, well, in my case, you want someone to say, wow, well, aren't you, you're, you have it together. You're, wow, you have a master's? Oh my goodness, you are fantastic. Oliver, you are so hot and sexy. It's, <laughs> what? It's about, like I want to share my process of how I go about being a content creator. Just doing the things that I do and, you know, with, the amount of experience I have doing this, the failures, the learnings throughout my life in general too, I think are good things to share. And I was explaining to her that I look at myself and I want to be the best version that I can be so that my son sees his dad as a, as a role model and I can be the best person for my son so that my son can be the best person he can become. Now you could say there are things I do that are questionable as to whether you want your kid doing that too. Like, I don't know, making a video about how much chewing gum you can fit in your mouth and it getting like three or four million views. That was, and then I got a question, I got a comment yesterday or the day before that was something along the lines of, I can't believe a grown man has done this. And I'm just like, oh, if there's one thing that cuts me, it's that. <laughs> And I have to like find my way back to like remembering why I'm doing this. Like I'm, I'm trying to, like in a video like that, I'm trying to take a stupid topic and make it entertaining. So if, if, if I could keep going on that topic, why would someone do this? Why would someone make these videos? It depends, like, is it because you want people to think that you are something, you want someone to have a good impression of you? Or are you doing it because you have things to share? It's a very, it's a deep question, isn't it? Because like you could very easily look at this and think any of those things that I've just mentioned. But then, you know, as, as much as I would like people to see this and see the views come in and then see generating revenue from it, as, as nice as that would be, I'm okay with, I don't know if I should say, I don't know if I actually mean that. Would I be doing this in a year? Would I be doing these videos in a year if there were no views? I think
I think maybe would I keep posting it? Would I reduce any of the workload that comes into it? Like, would I stop trying to do the clips, maybe? Would I stop spending so much time editing? Would I stop thinking about taking notes of things to say or to talk about? I don't want to go that way. I don't know, it's hard to say because I really enjoy, I really enjoy the idea to me has been of talking just out loud to a camera not to a camera just talking out loud and the camera capturing it has actually been quite nice I don't know I like this aspect of it maybe I wouldn't go out of my way to try and explain things for this video, like things that take up time away from other things that I'd like to be doing. Maybe I would, because I enjoy explaining the things. Dude, what a tough question. Thank you, user Jackrabbit84, for the question. That was nice. All right, I think I've had enough rambling for today. Yeah. All right, well, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Oh, and if you have any suggestions about the whole thumbnail thing, let me know. But see you tomorrow. All right. Ta-ra. Let me get across this junction first. Ta-ra.